What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. It's my favorite time of month. Inside EVs has just released electric vehicle sales for the month of June. And take a second to guess what is the best selling electric vehicle for the month of June. Drum roll. You guessed it. It is Tesla's Model 3 for the sixth month in a row. Uh, according to Inside EVs, they sold 6,062 units. Now, this is a slight decrease from the month of May. And the main reason being here is I believe Tesla was intentionally delivering some cars internationally as as well as just withholding some deliveries to avoid triggering a federal tax credit here in the US. And that is why despite them being able to produce a lot more than 6,000 Model 3s per month, that is what we're looking at as the delivery number. As a consequence in July, I think there's going to be a huge spillover effect where Tesla is delivering all of these cars that they had in their backlog, and we are going to see just a blockbuster July. My guess is somewhere around 10 or 12,000 deliveries in the U.S. alone, maybe even 15 or 20,000 wouldn't be out of the ballpark. So I think this chart gets even sexier next month. But even so, Tesla selling 6,062 units of the Model 3 is still still kicking ass. Let me explain. If you take a look at this chart against uh, the Model 3 versus the Chevy Bolt, the notorious Tesla killer at one point, the Chevy Bolt has absolutely fallen off of a cliff. The gap continues to widen. It only sold 1,083 units in June. That's about one-sixth of what Tesla's Model 3 sold. And this is what is so frustrating to me about the media and the narratives that are surrounding Tesla today. You know, people forget to look at the data. You know, this is the number two best-selling electric vehicle that's not a Tesla is the Chevy Bolt. And it's getting absolutely crushed. And it's not even just the Model 3. Uh, the top three best-selling electric vehicles in the country, and I'm not including plug-in hybrids. These are only battery electric vehicles. And it is just not even close. Tesla is the top three best-selling cars. Model 3 with about 24,000 unit sales about 11,000 for Model S, 9,500 for Model X. The Bolt, the first car, the first non-Tesla EV on the list is only selling about a quarter of the Model 3 and, I, and that gap is going to continue to widen. So, you know, when people talk about the Tesla killer and Tesla has all this competition coming, well, talk is cheap. Look at the sales data right here. To me, this is the evidence proving that Tesla is a clear leader, clear first mover, has a market share advantage because their products are vastly superior and this is the data that proves it. On a broader level, this gets me so excited because I'm incredibly passionate about us becoming a more sustainable society and you know electrifying transport and cars is a huge stepping stone in that direction so I think you know plug-in sales in general whether it's Tesla or not I am just rooting for them to increase as you can see you know over the past five years there's been strong growth in electric vehicle sales and I think we're at the cusp of like a major breakout just in the first six months of through June we've had sales of almost 120,000 units which looks like a little bit low you know you might be doubling that and saying like oh Oh, that's only 240,000 units. That would only be 20% growth. But in reality, the electric vehicle sales are weighted towards the back half of the year. So even in the seasonally weak front half of the year, you know, the growth has been really impressive for plug-in sales. If we take a look at the first six months of the year, you can see that in 2018, plug-in sales are up 35% in the US. And I believe that that gap is about to, the growth is about to accelerate um, throughout the back half of the year, pretty much just because Model 3 is ramping so much that that is going to have a huge impact on these numbers. So as you can see, I'm expecting for the full year uh, plug-in electric vehicle sales of 300,000 units. That's up 50% from 2017. So I just think this is awesome news uh, for the planet in general. And so I'm, um, you know, five or six years ago when I first started following Tesla, you know, nobody believed in electric vehicles. It wasn't inevitable. There was the future. You know, the story was that they were a niche for only rich people. Electric cars were never going to take off. They were never going to be practical. And now we're seeing it become, you know, a real market and have a real impact on the industry, which is super inspiring to me. In terms of the damage that Tesla is doing, you can see that they have been a huge driver of this growth in US plug-in sales. And if you take a look at what I'm estimating for the full year, I actually think that the plug-in market will actually decline a little bit um, without Tesla. And Tesla is going to be responsible for 100% of the growth in this category. Um, and I think part of the reason here is, is because people just simply aren't going to be buying other EVs like the Bolt anymore now that the Model 3 is available. And that is why you're seeing Tesla have have about 50% market share of US plug-in sales this year. So those are the numbers for June. Of course, I'm going to make another episode when the data comes out in July, where I'm expecting Tesla to have an absolutely monster quarter. If you have any you know, questions, concerns, please leave, please leave it in the comments below. If you like HyperChange, definitely check out our Patreon page and consider supporting there. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.